Okay, so wonderful good afternoon everyone. I welcome you back to my YouTube channel. Presenting before you this wonderful tutorial is Hamper Clement, your mentor. And today we'll be doing a very wonderful question in physics um, under Newton's uh, laws, forces, normal forces, as well as finding the work done by a force. So this question is simply saying that uh, starting from rest, a 5 kg block slides 2.5 meters down a rough um, 30 degrees incline. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the incline is uh, mu k of 0 0.436. Determine the work done by the force of gravity, the work done by the friction force between block and incline, and the work done by the normal force. Okay, so it's a very simple question, but then I'll be able to show you how you can solve this question as, as well as uh, be able to solve some other questions on this. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is simply to draw um, the situation. So the situation is like this. Let's try to draw the situation. The situation is like this. We have an incline of this particular type. Okay? Then they are saying that there is a load on this incline. Okay? So it can be a box like this. Okay? It's very important to understand the question in physics. So that's in starting from rest. Now this thing is they're saying it's it's five kg of course. So it's a five kg. Now they're saying that the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the incline is okay, so we can say coefficient of kinetic friction is zero point four six Force 3.6. Okay. Then, of course, the mass has been given. It is 5.0 kg. Of course, our gravity, we know that this is just 9.8 meters per second uh, squared. But then, there is a force because this thing so desires to flow in this direction because of gravity. So there is a force which is acting due upward, which we are calling as the kinetic friction force. There is also a force which is acting in this direction, which is the force of opposition. Now we know that there is a force which is acting due upward, which we are simply calling as the Fn or the normal force, and at the same time, there is a force which is acting downward, which we are calling as the mg or the weight. Now the question is saying that we, we calculate the work done by the force of gravity. We calculate the work done by the force of gravity. But then we all know that work done if a question is asked in such a manner, in any question under this topic, work done is always equal to some force multiplied by the distance considered in the cosine of the angle theta, like this. But then, they are saying we calculate the work done by the force of gravity. Gravity is acting on this particular box in this direction. So the force of gravity in this situation is simply the mg. Meaning we are going to replace mg while there is force and still consider the distance and the cosine of the angle theta. Like that. So upon doing this, you are able to find this question because you have the mass you have the gravitational field force, you have the distance, and the cosine of the angle theta, which in this case is just uh, 
but then were given a 30 degrees, but then uh, you might be confused because when you look at the way this force is acting, we have a 30 degrees here, but then it is acting in such a way that it is acting downward. And if you consider a line here, you draw a straight line here, you discover that there is going to be a, a, a 90 degrees somewhere here. Okay? It's going to be a 90 degrees. Therefore, for you to find the angle theta that you're going to place here, you have to say x plus 30 equal to 90. Okay? The angle of everything. Then you say x is equal to 90 minus 30. And then your answer is going to be 60.0 uh, degrees. Okay? So that is what you put here for the first question. The second part is simply saying the work done by the friction force between the block and the incline. So now the same formula applies. Work done, first of all, right, the, the formula work done is equal to some force multiplied by some distance considering the cosine of the angle theta. Okay. Now we are told to calculate the work done by the friction force. Meaning here we are going to replace with the friction force and simply write down what we have. But then we know that kinetic friction force is equal to mu k multiplied by the normal force. So you can replace this with mu k and cosine the angle theta. Now, remember the formula for the normal force? Normal force is given by the mg cosine of the angle theta. Meaning, you can replace everything here with this so that you can have the mg cosine the angle theta cosine uh, the, the angle theta multiplied by, of course, the distance and put it anywhere. So for this one, it's very simple. It's very simple because you know that your theta here is simply a 30 degrees, but here it's going to be different. Okay? It's going to be different. How? Remember that the force of friction is acting in this direction. Okay? It's acting in this direction, in this direction. You see? So this is a 180 degrees. It's a straight line. Therefore, on this theta here, you simply put a 180 degrees and then everything stands. You still be able to find the same answer. C. C they are saying, we find the work done by the normal force. So, of course, the same formula applies. Work done is equal to force multiplied by distance cosine the angle theta. Of course, the normal force is simply the mg cosine cosine the angle theta d then cosine the angle theta like that so for this one if you check you discover that this guy here here of course you maintain your 30 degrees but then for the for, for the theta here it's going to be different why am i saying so because if you check you discover that this guy when it, when this guy when this guy reaches here it's a 90 degrees so you consider putting a 90 degrees here and try to punch then find the answer this is how simple this question is thank you so much